We've talked a lot about Microsoft Fabric and how you can use it in a Fabric workspace. But what if you want to use it with your favorite tool? Today, we talk about five different tools that you can use to access your data in Microsoft Fabric. Next on Tales from the Field. If this is your first time finding your way over to Tales from the Field, give us a like and give us a subscribe. We drop content every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. On Monday, we have an MS Tech Jets. On Tuesday, we have our Azure Data Community Roundtable, where we feature content created by the community for the Azure Data Community. And then on Wednesday, we have our MS Tech Bits. It's one of those videos you're watching right now where we learn things from working with product groups, inspiration from the community, or maybe working with customers. And then we share that with you. Let's get over to that great content. SQL Server Management Studio. In our Fabric workspace, if we go in and we find anything that says a SQL endpoint or a warehouse, we're going to be able to use that as a connection point to SQL Server Management Studio. So in this example, let's go over to our big lake house and SQL endpoint. Let's click on the little ellipsis. You can see there's copy SQL connection string right there. I can also go over to my warehouse and get copy SQL connection string. When I click on that, it gives me a connection string. I can hop over to SSMS, connect to a database engine, pop that in place, connect, and then I'm going to be connected to my Fabric lake house and the data warehouse. It's all through the same SQL endpoint. You can see there's baseball. There's my baseball lake house. I can open up both of these and expand them. I can see that I've got my individual tables in place. I can even go ahead and write a query, and if I really wanted to, I could probably do a cross database query. But simple one, real quick, let's do select star from dim customer and let's return this information. Boom. Uh, I hit execute. I've got tables back. Azure Data Studio. All right, so here we are back in our lake house and you can do open with Azure Data Explorer. Click open when it prompts. I've got everything up to date, but it still prompted me to go through these steps and then it just opened my Data Explorer. Now, if we click connect next, it's going to connect us, but it connects us in context only to our lake house. You can see it shows all the databases from our data warehouse and whatnot. What I need to do is add this from scratch. So that's going to be my recommendation. If we're going to do it, let's do it right. Let's make a nice pretty group. I'm going to make it fabric green and I'm going to call it Microsoft Fabric. So that way my fabric instance is grouped there. I click OK. I click connect and then I am connected to it. Now I can see all of my databases and I can see the individual tables. This is the level we want to be connected to in Azure Data Studio. Open it all up. Look, I can see everything. Um, right click on Dim Customer and then I can do a top 1000 and look at this. Opens it up, run the query, boom. Custo Explorer. Okay, so we're going to start out by installing Custo Explorer and we're going to go to the documentation. It's in the description of the video, aka.ms slash KE will also get it to you. And then we need a link to be able to get there. So we're going to go over to our Microsoft Fabric workspace. I'm going to go into the ISDB, which is my KQL database. And then right there, query URI. I'm going to copy that. And then I can go over to Custo Explorer once it's installed, go to connections. And then I'm going to go to connections. I'm going to add a new connection. And once I add that connection, I will paste my cluster into the cluster connection. Now let's make this a friendly alias um, and something like IIS uh, DB fabric or IIS fabric. Uh, everything else is good. I'm going to click OK. I'm connected to my fabric instance. There's my database. There's my tables that I have in there. And I can begin to write queries. Uh, select top 1000 from IIS loc. Boom. That's right, Mr. Potter. You can write T-SQL in KQL Explorer against your Fabric Cousteau clusters. Explain still works just fine. And then I can do something really cool, like take some of that IIS location data, maybe grab the top thousand items to be able to look at the revolution and then use a render scatter chart with a map on it. So boom, look at this. I can go all around the globe looking at that path of IIS. Cool stuff. Microsoft Excel. That's right. I said Microsoft Excel because you see, we can go into Microsoft Excel and we can very easily go into data, get data, 
And then we say from database, uh, SQL Server. And then remember that copy connection string? We're going to use that. We're going to put that in. We do have to specify a database. So that's going to be the scope. I'm going to say baseball. When this loads, I'm going to select Dem Customer. The preview is going to get generated. Then I'm going to load. But I could transform data because this is Power Query that we have right here, right? The data loads, and there it is. There is my fabric data in Microsoft Excel. I could make pivot tables. I could do all kinds of amazing things. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. There we go. Microsoft Fabric in Excel. Power BI. Of course it's Power BI. How could it not be Power BI? This is the OG we're talking about. Now, of course, in Fabric, we have the full Power BI flex flexibilities, capabilities available to us. So that way we could do this on a Mac, we could do it on Windows, but if you love building in your Power BI desktop, I mean, come on, who doesn't have a little bit of love for Power BI desktop, right? You can still use it, and as a matter of fact, Fabric is a first-class citizen. Let's go take a look. So here we are in Power BI, head to the One Lake Data Hub. You'll see data sets, data marts, lake houses, warehouses. You could also go to Get Data, click on More, and then look at that Microsoft Fabric preview. And, and there's everything we need. That's it, though. You think I'm building a report for you? That's what my good friends from Guy in a Cube are for. Uh, you should be subscribed over there. I know I am. What did we cover? <laughs> well, we covered a lot, right? We covered five different ways that you can connect to Microsoft Fabric and use tools outside of the Fabric workspace. What are you waiting for? Uh, go out there and start doing stuff. Why are you still watching the video? Well, I guess there is one more thing, right? You know where we like to keep the conversation going. Down in the comments, is there something you'd like to see? Something that you have questions about? Would you like us to dive into something more? I'd love to hear from you. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us on Tales from the Field. And as always, be good to one another out there. Take care. Wake up. Bye. Today's going to be a good day. Set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do the